Howdy, Possum Patty here and I'm nature journaling. So today I'm going to talk about this storm. You know that tropical storm that came by? You know the one I'm talking about? You're going to make me say the name? Okay, I'll try. It's Isa Isis or Isa Isa. First I have some video that I took during the storm. As dry leaves before the tropical storm fly, and gray storm clouds go racing by. You know, during the storm, the birds never stopped coming to the bird feeder. There were house finches and goldfinches and downy woodpeckers. I checked in with my cat, Stinky, but she wasn't impressed by the storm. It's a storm. Stinky. Stinky, it's a storm. Meow, meow. I just scratched my couch. After the storm, I walked around the yard to check on any damage that was done to the flowers and the trees. Howdy, Awesome Patty here. It's August 5th and we have blue skies after the storm. And the noise that you hear is a generator running because we have no power, no cell phone, no cable, nothing. So I'm just looking at damage right now. The most damage were the trees that came down in the road on the power lines. And this is a tree that came down on the power lines and it's hanging directly over the road. Plus, there's a lot of smaller branches down up in the road, from what I can see. I sat on my front porch and sketched this tree. It's right in front of our house. It's a big, I believe, shag bark hickory tree. And it's split in half and fell across the road and is hanging on the power lines. And one of the power lines are down on the ground. And it's hanging over my black-eyed Susans and my flowers out front. You can see how the lines are being held down by that tree. I noticed up here that there was a dark spot right where it split. I'm wondering if that was a like a heart rot or something and that's why it split at this point. where the tree broke. I checked the zinnias in the zinnia bed and only one flower was broken and I discovered what I think to be a large milkweed bug. The zinnias after the storm. Oh, I see one that's broken. There's a bug. One broken zinnia. 
Time to walk around the yard and pick up sticks. Sometimes the branches come down and stick in the ground like a javelin. Oop! Wow, it's really in there. There's another one over there. I still haven't figured out what this plant is, but it blooms in the morning and closes in the evening. And it has red seed capsules and long linear leaves. Kind of pretty, but I don't know what it is. We're turning our generator on and off. We do have water and we can run the refrigerator and a couple of electric plugs. But maybe I need to eat up all the ice cream from the freezer before it melts. As I walked around the yard and checked for storm damage, I found lots of leaves and twigs and dead branches and hickory nuts and a big brown moth. Well, the moth was on my window screen right outside my art studio. So I decided to sketch some of the things that I had found. Of course, I drew the big, beautiful brown moth. I think this is a northern pine sphinx moth. It sure was pretty. The twig that I drew, uh, I believe this is a birch tree twig and these little cone-like structures that was the female flower now they're making seeds the pollen I believe is on the catkins which fall off earlier in the season and thump 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 lots of hickory nuts fell so I picked one up and I added that sketch So thanks for weathering the storm with me. Happy nature journaling. Bye-bye.